I love finding beauty in these mundane situations because that's kind of where our life is most of the time. It's just that daily grind. How do you make that existence beautiful? And like, how do you see beauty in perhaps those like telephone poles or wires or, you know, perhaps like some unattractive <laughs> scenes? So that's where I lived for a while with my creativity. My name is Ina Rohr. Uh, I've been living in Tucson since 2004. I moved here from Estonia, a small country in Northern Europe. I actually founded the Untitled Gallery in 2019. It was quite a serendipitous chance, perfect timing right before the pandemic. I have a studio at Untitled and also, you know, like created this collective gallery space. Emily has joined us two years ago, and so now we can run Untitled together. Artist and art represents being human. It really is the thing that allows connection, expression, hope. My name is Emily Hallowell. I am a photographer. Together we curate the shows and hang the shows. I am able to show my photography here and I do all the social media and a lot of the promotion. But we are focusing on artwork made by Tucson artists who are mid-career, mastered the medium that they're working in and have a real clear vision and voice in their work. A lot of the artwork that we show here is by artists who are nationally and even internationally recognized. I am Rosanna Salonia, and I do mixed media photography, sometimes installation, photo-based, image-based. It's very important to me, the interaction part. I want them to sort through the photos as if it was found artifact in an antique shop with mysterious photographs of people and events in faraway unknown places and then find their own meaning or dream or memory. Emily Hallowell, who co-directs the gallery, she invited me and here I am and I'm very thankful to show my work in a gallery space with real walls and a good roof, good lighting. You know, the professional setting that any serious, hardworking artist needs and dreams about. And at this time, in this occasion, at no cost to me, other than a very reasonable and small commission for sold works. So I'm very, very thankful to be here. Tucson does have a very vibrant and diverse art scene. We want to keep the scene alive. We want to keep sustaining this place so we can keep feeding Tucson with art and also keep introducing people to the artists and kind of like get to know their artist community more intimately. And that's exactly what they can do in our gallery. Like during our first Saturday art walks, you can meet all of these artists that exhibit in this place. You can talk to them, you can connect with them, and of course you can support them. My name is Will Whitehouse and my relationship with Untitled Gallery has changed over the years. I used to be one of the original members when there were seven of us. I've come back as part of the Invitational group. I've got some art on the walls here and it's just great to be part of the gallery because it's such a great space and they show such wonderful art in here. I used to have no interest in abstract painting and I used to think that abstract art was for people that didn't know how to draw and was a cop-out kind of thing. I like to think that I've arrived at abstraction through an honest journey or whatever you'd like to call it. My figures used to be more representational and then I started to become a bit more expressive with that and then through that started to explore just the beauty of paint and what paint can do and focus on what is it that this colour is doing when the red is vibrating against the green or the formal relationship is happening on the canvas. The space that we're in is in the Steinfeld Warehouse. This is one of the buildings that the Warehouse Arts Management Organisation purchased about 20 years ago to save from demolition. Their mission was to save the buildings and then provide spaces for artists. We're really grateful for Whammo for allowing that and these spaces for artists to really thrive. And so we're extending that mission by making sure that we have really exceptional shows, really quality work. 
I think community is such a big part of what we're doing here and what we get out of it and what we're providing.